The guy came from behind me. He already had my son in his hands. I didn't see him pick my son up. Playing in the yard with her toddler, then suddenly in a violent fight to save the young boy. Detectives say a man tried to snatch the child from a yard on 3rd Avenue Southwest in White Center and in broad daylight. King 5's Gary Chittam is live in White Center where police are calling in a special unit to track down this would-be abductor. Gary? Yeah, this is a wild one. It happened right in here in this nice fenced little yard. You had a husband and one child on this side. Then you had the mother and another child over there, but they weren't alone. That mother says that there was a masked man wearing all black there, and he snatched her child, and she took off after him, vowing she was not going to let him get away with her child. I just continue to kick and punch him back and try to get him away from me. Her swollen eye is all Melissa will allow us to show of her face. She's not ready to be on camera yet, but she is ready to talk about how some backyard fun almost turned into the loss of her child. We were actually racing around the house, and I was way in front of him. I was going to beat him to our strawberries. We have a garden going. We have a lot of strawberries. It was part of a fun evening yesterday as the family prepared for a barbecue. Her playful race to the strawberries suddenly changed. He came from behind me, had my son in his hands or in his arm, underneath his arm. Melissa was stunned, but she snapped out of it when the masked assailant lost his balance. He tripped or he fell down, and as he fell, my son fell with him. My son hit the ground, and as soon as my son was on the ground, I jumped on top of my son. The fight intensified. And that's when he started hitting and punching me. Melissa fought back, and finally, the attacker fled. This woman is a hero in my book, and uh, she, she did everything she needed to to protect her child. Melissa has bumps and bruises, but because she put up a fight, she has her three-year-old safe and sound tonight. And the attacker has a new problem. Um, I've had success on a scene that was six months old. Um, we tracked actually to what we believe to be the murder weapon. The sheriff's office brought in Kathy Decker, their certified man tracker. Leave your footprint on the lawn, and she and her team are on your trail. Essentially, what we learn to do is see evidence that others would not necessarily see and certainly may not recognize. They spent most of the day in this yard, say they did actually find evidence that they can use to help track down whoever did this. We did get an announcement from the sheriff's office a short time ago. They have a little bit of a suspect description for us. Again, the man was dressed in all black. All we know is he's described as tall and lanky and able to jump over a fence to get away. Reporting live in White Center, Gary Chittam, King 5 News.